Well, condolence, support, and prayers have been offered from all across the state and all across the country to folks in Roswell. And one main message from the state and school leaders here is to make sure the kids, particularly the ones who actually saw the shooting happen, go ahead and get the help they need to deal with this awful tragedy. News 13 Samantha McDonald is live in a newsplex with more. Good morning once again, Sam. Good morning, Matt. Well, students are out of school today, and when they return Thursday, counselors will be made available to them. But even while they are out of school, a number of agencies are standing by. They are helping to provide with any kind of counseling at any hour of the day or night. This kind of violence against children is upsetting to everyone, but especially to those close to it. Teachers, students, and students' parents who were scared by yesterday's event. The Red Cross of New Mexico says volunteers from Was Roswell, Hobbs, and Las Cruces have already delivered food and water to the first responders, who are now tasked with the long investigation at Barrendo Middle School. State agencies are also available to help the community deal with the psychic trauma. Just to have known that someone walked into a school, um, and so it's, it, it has impacted the entire community. Um, there are grief counselors that are available, and the school district is also providing information directly to parents through their communications systems that they have already set up. New Mexico's Department of Human Services says its contracted partner, Turquoise Health and Wellness, is also offering free counseling to the hundreds of parents, students, and staff affected. They can be reached at 575-623-1480 and are located at 110 East Mescalero. The statewide crisis line is also available throughout the night, 24 hours at 1-855-662-7474. And Governor Martinez says the state's Public Education Department and Children, Youth, and Families Department in Roswell are also there. This kind of violence doesn't just impact the people who were there. Back to you, Elizabeth. All right, Sam, thank you for that. As you did mention, you know, it, it does, it, this type of violence impacts us all. In fact, a UNM child psychologist says children elsewhere who have seen the coverage on TV or just heard about the shootings can be affected too.